Hey, I'm Evan, Head of Engineering for RM Stator. Today we're going to talk about testing ignition coils. Um, they're an important part of your ignition system and they're easy to test. They do have coils of wire inside them so we can measure the resistance across those coils and make sure that they're correct. So make sure you look up the spec on our website so you know what you're testing for and set your meter accordingly and I'll show you how to test a couple of them and uh, that'll be a good way to make sure that your ignition system is working correctly. Okay, so we're going to start with a, a simple uh, single spark plug ignition coil. Um, these coils have uh, two coils inside of them, a primary and a secondary. So the primary we can always test between, uh, there'll be some sort of wire coming out or a terminal, at least one if not two. If there's only one terminal, we're going to measure the primary resistance, the primary coil, between the terminal or the wire and ground or the mounting bar that runs through it. So you can see there's a metal bar that goes through the center of the coil. If there was two terminals, like some other coils have, or two wires, we would measure the primary between the two wires. So here I'm gonna hook up my meter between the terminal and the ground, uh, grounding or mounting bar in the center. And the primary resistance is generally very low on an ignition coil, somewhere around one ohm or, or less. Can be as high as three or so on a performance coil, just depends on the model. So you always want to look up the spec on our website so you know what you're testing uh, and what it should be. So here you can see that it's uh, measuring about 0.5 for the primary, so that's fine. And now I want to measure the secondary. So depending on the type of coil, there's different ways to measure it. On this coil that's meant for a single spark plug, the secondary coil is between the ground or the mounting bar in the center and the spark plug terminal at the end of the wire. So to reach it, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and plug it down in there. So this should be in the thousands of ohms. I believe this one's rated at uh, 4.5k or 4500 ohms. So I can tell that my meter's not showing anything. Well, it's because it's set to expect a measurement of 200 ohms and I'm trying to measure uh, 4.5k or 4500. So I need to bump it up to the 20k setting, which is the closest resistance range above what I'm trying to measure. And now I'll see that the meter jumps up and shows 4.5k, which is correct. So for a simple single uh, spark plug ignition coil like this, that's how you measure the primary and the secondary. And that tells us that the coil's in spec and should be working fine. All right, here's a different kind of ignition coil, similar to the other one, but this one is meant to fire two spark plugs. So we see that it has two plug wires coming out. If we look at the other side, we also see that it has two wires uh, for the wiring harness connection. So basically the same, uh, we test it the same way, it just looks a little different. So to test the primary coil inside, we're gonna connect between the two wires that connect to the wiring harness. And again, the primary resistance should be low. So I looked up the spec, I know it's about half an ohm, which is what I'm measuring. And I have my meter set to the lowest range to account for that. So that looks good. Then I want to test the secondary. Now the difference on a dual output coil like this is you measure the secondary between the two spark plug wires. You're not measuring from the, the mounting or grounding bar to one or the other. So to take my secondary measurement, this doesn't have caps on it, so I've put some nails down inside to connect to the wire in, inside. So I connect to those guys, and my meter is not showing anything. Well, I know the secondary should be high. Uh, I believe it's about 10K or 10 and a half. So I want to bump my meter up to the 20K setting, which is the closest setting I have above what I want to measure. And I'm measuring about 10.3K. So that's perfect. That's what the spec is, and that's in range. So that's how you test a dual output coil. So let's look at one more a cap coil. Okay, so here's a different kind of an ignition coil. It's called a cap coil because it actually sits on top of the spark plug like a cap. So the coil is all embedded inside this unit. Um, same thing as the others. It has a primary and a secondary coil inside. We can measure the resistance of both of them. Um, on a cap coil, you'll generally have uh, two terminals inside a connector, which I have my meter connected to. And I looked up our spec on our website. I know that the primary is very low, about half an ohm, which is what I'm showing here, 0 0.4. So that looks good. And then I want to measure the secondary resistance, which is from one of the terminals inside to the tip uh, that would connect to the spark plug. So if I connect my meter to it, I'm not showing anything. That's because it's a lot higher than this. I believe it's about 5K or 4K. So I connect my meter to it and I move my meter up to the 20K setting and now I can see 4.4K, which is correct. So that's how you measure a cap coil. And 
I hope this shows you how to test the different kinds of ignition coils you might run into on your vehicles. They're easy to test and easy to see if they're a problem, and you can go to rmstator.com to replace them.